Transforming layer content is really easy in Affinity Publisher, and it's all done through one tool. Here's how to use it. By default, when opening a document in Publisher, the Move tool is selected. If needed, I can always access the Move tool by pressing V on the keyboard or by selecting it from the Tools panel here. Next, I'll select my layer content, and I'll do this by selecting the Silver Watch image here on my Layers panel. A bounding box will appear around the layer's contents, and this will allow us to transform the layer. To move a layer, simply click-drag anywhere within the bounds of the box. To scale a layer, click-drag on the handles located either in the corners, or on the top, bottom, left or right-hand side of the bounding box. Dragging a corner handle with image content will always perform proportional scaling. To override this, hold the Shift key when dragging the mouse. Letting go of Shift returns to proportional scaling. I can also hold Command on Mac or Control on Windows to scale around the center of the layer. Dragging the top, bottom, left or right handle will perform non-proportional scaling by default. Again, you can hold Shift to perform proportional scaling instead. Rotating a layer can be achieved by either click-dragging on the top rotational handle or by hovering over the outside area of a corner handle. Whilst rotating, you can hold Shift to constrain the rotation to 15 degree increments. Shearing can be performed by hovering just outside the top, bottom, left and right handles and click-dragging. As with rotation, you can hold Command on Mac or Control on Windows to shear around the center point. Once I'm finished transforming the layer, I can simply switch to another tool, such as H for the View tool. Since layers are always transformed non-destructively in the Affinity apps, there is no need to commit the transformation. If you prefer to use precise values, you can also transform layers by using the Transform panel, located in the bottom right of your interface. To use this, I just need to select the Move tool again, which is V on my keyboard, and then the transform values will become available to me. I can reset the rotation and shearing by typing 0 and then pressing Return or Enter on my keyboard. This control here lets me change the origin point for transformation. It defaults to the top left position, so if I scrub the rotation slider, it rotates around that point. Alternatively, I could change this to the middle point, and now when I scrub the rotation slider, it rotates around the center of the layer. There are a couple of options available on the context toolbar that are worth noting for certain workflows, so I'll go down to this page and we'll zoom in. On the layers panel, I'll make a selection of multiple layers by clicking a single layer, then holding shift and selecting a number of layers you'll see that the bounding box is set up to transform all of the layers together. If I rotate, for example, it will rotate all layers around the center origin of the bounding box. The same happens if I scale the layers. Instead, on the context toolbar, I can enable transform objects separately. Notice the large bounding box goes away. Instead, only one of the layers has a bounding box around it, and the other layers have an outline. Now, if I rotate this layer, each layer will rotate around its own relative origin point. The same applies for scaling. I can change the nominated layer for transforming by holding Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and clicking the layer I wish to nominate. This can be done on the document view or on the layers panel. Another useful option is hide selection while dragging. This hides the bounding box whilst you're actually transforming the layer or layers, giving you a clearer view of what you're doing. And that's how to transform layers in Affinity Publisher. Thank you for watching.